DaVista booth now with Yos Young from, uh, like I said, from DaVista. And uh, he didn't realize he was writing to the person that really wanted to hear about it was he's got a voiceover calendar app. How, how are you doing? Yeah, nice. Thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the, uh, what was the reasoning behind creating this and, uh, and how does it work? Yeah, that's kind of funny. Two years ago, we developed an app uh, with two other guys. Uh, I'm a single guy company, but two other guys, an easy calendar app, very easy to enter events. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is the voice over already. I'll show you. Um, um, but somebody here from San Francisco was asking me to take care of voiceover to make sure really well, just fine tuning, you know, it works from the basics, but not in every corner of it. And I had a look at VoiceOver and say, hey, you know what, if I would make a calendar for blind and visually impaired people, I would start from scratch. Because the whole thing is, if you make a site for, for sighted people, you design screens for those people. Sure, sure. Yeah. And, and the targets aren't the right size and that sort of thing. Right? Yeah. So uh, why well, I did two things, actually. First thing is make better summary. So if you go to a week, you see a week once at a time, and it tells you where the events are. So not just counting, it says three events on Monday, Saturday, and Sunday. You say, hey, Saturday, I don't remember. And you scan with your thumb to Saturday. But the second thing is, this is fixed screen format. So you can uh, scan it with your thumb and then tap with your other thumb. It depends on your you preference. Can count on, you can count on things to stay where they're supposed to be then? Exactly. There's just on a list and you can turn it around to flip the sides when you're left-handed. Okay. Uh, and the second thing is the whole navigation is always in that same way. So you don't have to turn wheels. That which is a pain in the ass sometimes. I mean, it works, the standard app works for a voiceover. But here you just go through a single step, like afternoon, three o'clock, uh, straight, oh, oh, and then you just enter text and you're done. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Yeah, or let's take a listen demo. at it, I guess yeah, is the right way. Yeah, yeah, I could show it blindly, but uh, yeah. I'll show it on the camera if you like. So, okay, so you hold I'll, that up high, I'm gonna go down high. to the voiceover uh -huh. thing. So, so let's make sure it works. I think it's off now. By the way, for those just listening, Yos has a uh, JBL speaker hanging around his neck so, Tap so that we can hear. Yeah, so this is the uh, week view, and the idea is that if you... Next week, no. Let's say I go to the next week. The week of February 4th, next week, two events on Tuesday and Thursday. That's the summary. And the standard app cannot do that because it just tells you there's a header for the 4th of July, and then there's some events. And it doesn't really summarize anything. Now, if I now uh, go to uh, Friday, a day, no events. Tap twice to open. And tap twice. I can use two Friday, thumbs. That's what I just explained, no but events. that's depending on your preference. So you can so just. So what we're tap. seeing is a, is a list on the right, and then a big area where you use your other thumb to, to tap it to uh, say select. Yeah. So the the layout always is from the top. You get all the, uh, the events or no. days or whatever. So the content and from the bottom up, you get the action buttons like go to the next week or add a new event. That's why they're blue for us to recognize and for people that are partly sighted. Uh, if you enter an event, enter new event. No. You, Select date. So you don't get those dials. You just say it's afternoon. going to be afternoon. It's going to be 3 Select p.m. Dial. Let's say it's Select going to be 3 o'clock p.m. Oh, I see what you mean about not dials. So he's tapping on, on 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., but it started with regions of morning, afternoon, evening, that kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. So you narrow down into it without having to flip the little yeah. scrolly thing. And you have to narrow down because the screen is not that long. Right. So just an extra additional step, but it makes it, it still makes it easier. Now then something Capital that I've team. seen blind people doing, Tango. oh sorry, text in. blind people Capital doing team. very quickly. Capital T, W, W, You can do S, it two thumbs. S, T. And if you're done, done. No. you get a confirmation. Event TWS, Friday, February 8th, 3 o'clock p.m. That's again so something that's exactly. standard. Episode. Oh, it doesn't do that. You have to go back and tap yeah. on it and request it to yeah. get it. Yeah. So now, uh, do you have friends who are blind, or are you just because the, somebody came up and asked you about it? Yeah, it was actually that guy from San Francisco. Uh, I can't mention his name, Bill yes. Uber. Yeah, I like this guy. I met him yesterday here. It was quite late that I informed him about it because yeah. I started with a uh, uh, Dutch version language, so no English version yet. Okay. And I'm just promoting the English version here now for the first time. Oh, And wow. I, he came in when I emailed him saying, I live very close, you know, I'm <laughs> going to be at Macworld. So, oh, yeah. that's fantastic. What, yeah. a, what a great story. Well, I wish you yeah. great luck. How much does the app cost? Uh, I didn't make it cheap because of the, uh, you know, lower it's numbers. Speedy. It's $10 and during the trade show it's 5 All right. I'm just promoting it. But uh, I think I want something that's sustainable and I can support for years. Yeah, so what yeah. is the actual name of the app? Sorry, D. What is the actual name of the application? Oh, yeah. It's VO Calendar, and VO is for voiceover. Perfect. And the company, again, is DaVista. And yeah. now, what, uh, what's your website? Uh, that's vo-calendar.com. 
Dot com. You can find it in the App Store. Okay, thank you very much, Yos. This is very, very cool. Thank you for your time.